Hey everybody, I hope y'all are having an awesome, incredible day. So it's rainy here in Pensacola. Um, and I wanted to get on here today and talk to you a little bit about dreaming big and realizing your dreams and finding what possibly is holding you back, which for a lot of people could be that you have a fear of failure, that you have a fear of not being able to succeed and go through um, with your dreams. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that. Hi, how are you today? Um, so let's talk about that. I listened to a call yesterday that was really, really amazing and really stood out to me and I made a lot of notes on it, um, just being able to realize your dream, follow through with your dream. Um, so many of us just get settled into life and just go along with, you know, um, what our spouse is doing or what our spouse wants to do or, you know, um, maybe what, you know, friends are you know, wanting to do, or you just see what other people are doing and you're like, I want to do that. And you kind of follow along that, but maybe it's not truly what you are passionate about. Um, I can tell you guys that for sure, my passion lies in helping others reach above, um, being healthy and their wellness. Um, and just seeing their full potential of this temple that God created us, created for us to live in. This is our only body that we get our entire lives. And you want to really, truly take care of it. And how you do that is to move, be active, eat healthy foods, um, you know, try to stay away from toxins as much as possible, which we achieve through using Young Living. That is why I have gone this route with using Young Living. That is the whole reason behind all of that is to get away from medicines. I can't stand taking medicines. Um, you know, so uh, achieving it through that, right? So, that is definitely something that I am super passionate about. Maybe um, you guys aren't super passionate about that as far as that being your business, um, which is why I do this as a business because I want to reach as many people as I can and educate people in um, how you can achieve those things um, through living naturally as much as possible, right? So, but what are some things that are possibly holding you back from realizing what you're passionate about, what your dream is, what you want to do with your life, um, and really sitting down and looking at that? Are there just excuse after excuse after excuse as to why you're not doing it? I don't have enough time. Um, or, you know... Um, Time seems to be a big one for most people. Like, you know, I work a nine to five. Um, so whenever I get home, I'm tired. I don't have time to do it. I have uh, all these activities with my kids, you know, and stuff like that. So the thing is, is that when we really, really, truly want something and we visualize it, like we can truly see ourselves in that big picture. You can visualize yourself in that big picture. When we truly want something, we are going to do what it takes to get there. Am I right? Like if you really want a brand new pair of shoes um, that are super, super expensive, you're going to maybe make some sacrifices somewhere else to get those shoes, right? I mean, because you really want them. So you're going to do what it takes to get those shoes. When we really, really, truly want something, we are going to do what it takes to get there. Um, and I'll make some examples. Like, you know, I know that my number one is spending, is having the time with my family. My number one reason in doing what I do is because I have control over my schedule. Me being a personal trainer, 
I love it. I love being with people every single day. I get to interact with them. I get to talk to them. Um, I am truly an introvert. Being an extrovert is something that I've had to train myself to be comfortable in. Talking to people and having a conversation with people all day is draining sometimes for me. I do love the interaction with people though, so don't get me wrong in that, but sometimes it's draining and I have to recharge and be alone in order to, you know, get myself back to where I can give to others in that way. Um, so my point with that is that um, I love talking to people. I love being with people. I love helping people. I am a service type of person. I like to serve others. I like to give freely to others. Um, and so sharing my knowledge with others is something that I love to do and that I'm passionate about, but I am able to set my own schedule, being my own business owner, being a business owner, being my boss. Um, I can set my schedule around my kids, which in turn allows me to have more time with them, I'm not getting off at five o'clock at night and then not getting home until 530, only having a couple of hours with them before it's time to start getting ready for bed. So I am able to have a lot more time with them. Okay, so that's one thing that doing what I do has allowed me to do. So that's part of my dream, but really and truly, what I would absolutely love is for my husband to be home more because I don't want him to have to work more to bring home more money so that, um, you know, because of the fact that I work more of a part-time schedule. Okay, so my dream really is for him to work less. Um, so what are some things that the excuses fall under? So I want you to really sit down and think about what your dream is. I want you to visualize that. I want you to write some of that stuff down and, um, and then, you know, think about what are some things that are holding you back from realizing that dream? So again, Time is the big one. A lot of people are telling me they don't have time to, um, you know, whether it's to do another business, run another business outside of what they already do, whether you work from home, whether you work um, outside of the home, you don't have time outside of that. Well, could you set aside 30 minutes a day to work on this other business so that you could start to shift that um, in everything. So think about, think about those things, how you can shift that. Um, so one, some of the things in order to, you know, reach your dream, there are always sacrifices that you have to make in the meantime. And sometimes that sacrifice is time with your family. And if your family's on board with you and is okay with once a week, you know, taking two hours out of your week to work on this dream that you have and building that dream, then you have that support. So, you know, that is definitely something that you have to make a sacrifice for. What are some things that you would make sacrifices for? Maybe it's that you work less at your job, um, and that means that you might have to make some sacrifices in spending money in other places so that that will allow you to work less at your job. Um, you may not have a job that will let you do that, cut hours. Um, so, you know, you may have to just say, okay, I'm going to spend my lunch break um, to do these things. I remember whenever I was going to school, I was only able to go to school. There were no night classes. I had to take daytime classes. And so I had to talk to my boss at my job and, you know, like, what can I do? Not going to school and completing my degree is not an option. So what can I do? So I could only take like one class um, 
a day, um, you know, I can only go to one class a day. So I had to work my schedule out to where my classes were on different days. Um, it didn't allow me to have a full schedule every semester. I had to leave and take a lunch break and actually go to school on a lunch break and then come back to work and make up time during the week if I miss more than an hour and all that kind of stuff. Those were sacrifices that I made in order to complete that. That was a goal for me and that allowed me to get a degree that then allowed me to quit that job and start this business. So what are those sacrifices that you're going to make? And then what are sacrifices that you're not um, willing to make, which is you have certain values that you're not willing to compromise. Um, for me, that's a big one that I'm not going to compromise my values um, in order to see this dream through. Um, but are some things that, what are some things that are possibly also just being afraid of failing, keeping you and holding you back? Are you scared of stepping out and being uncomfortable um, or scared of not succeeding? Is that holding you back? So something that I think is awesome and amazing, and I've done this several times, is to use your essential oils to release these emotional blocks that are keeping you from seeing that success. So fear of failure is a big one for a lot of us. And it could be that you're just going to feel really uncomfortable um, stepping forth, getting out of your comfort zone. You're scared somebody's going to tell you no. You're scared your family members are not going to be supportive. Um, those are some things that possibly you might have come up emotion wise now um fear of failure this is how this is how you do an emotional release okay so um peppermint is what you use when you're dealing with fear of failure it's a pretty common oil so most people should have this one and um you are going to think about how you feel when you have when you have this emotion so when you're thinking about that or maybe it's an experience that you had in the past and you can think about that memory so you're going to put the oil in your non-dominant hand so for me that's my right hand put the oil in my non-dominant hand you're going to circle clockwise to activate the oil and then you're going to think about when you have experienced failure or having a fear of failure or what that feels like in your body when you think about that and you're going to smell that oil thinking about that in that time and then you're going to exhale and let that completely go you're going to do this three times and exhale Inhale again, thinking about that feeling in your body or that memory, and exhale and let it go, and you're going to do that one more time. So, there are also um, the, the pressure point that goes along with this is on the clavicle, so then you touch with your, your dominant hand with the oil, you're going to rub um, right there in the middle of your clavicle. There's also the pressure points that you think about whenever you might have a headache, rubbing on those pressure points there. And then right in the back of your head, back through here, that pressure point to help release that. And then the opposite of fear of failure is called um, is unfoldment. So where you're seeing this all unfold and come to light. You see your dream unfolding before you. So you're going to think about that, envision yourself in that dream, and smell the oil again three times. Thinking about picturing yourself in that, um, you know, everything is coming to fruition. It's happening, um, you know, so you're putting yourself in that. And then you are going to say this affirmation. 
I accept growth. What does it mean for you to be able to have success or have a dream and see that dream come true? That means that you personally grow, you grow as a person, you grow in knowledge, um, you know, so you have to accept that that is something that is going to take place. So I accept growth. And each time you say that with more passion, I accept growth. Okay. So how you walk through that, the clavicle is your pressure point up here, those points um, on each side of your forehead there, and then right at the base of your head. Those are your pressure points. Using peppermint in your non-dominant hand, you're gonna activate that oil. You are thinking of that fear of failure to begin with. You're thinking about that fear of failure, smelling in the oil three times, and then you in turn think of unfoldment. So think of the positive side and see yourself in that vision and smell the oil and then say that affirmation three times, I accept growth. I want you to go through that. I want you to really, really think about that. Some of us just kind of live in the here and now, just keeping on with our everyday life, never really seeing our dreams through. I know for me, I can't even think of what I wanted to be whenever I was young. You know, um, I can't really think of anything like um, as a child that I, you know, wanted to do whenever I got older. Um, I guess, you know, I would say maybe I'm not much of a dreamer. Maybe I don't think that much out of the box, but I think we should all take the time to really sit down and just have fun with it. Dream big, you know, um, think about those things. But then what's holding you back from doing any of that stuff? Um, you know, so um, release those emotions, release those blocks, and then let that all flow in and see how that goes for you. Hope you guys have a great day.